Praise the Lord, everybody. I'm coming with today's scripture affirmation. Today, we're going to come from the book of Romans chapter 6, and I want to focus on a couple of verses of scripture. I want us to focus on verses 12 and 13. Well, actually 12, 13, and 14, but I'm going to begin in verse 11, and it reads like this. Likewise, reckon ye also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal bodies that you should obey it in the lust thereof. Neither yield ye your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin, but yield yourselves unto God as those that are alive from the dead and your members as instruments of righteousness unto God. For sin shall not have dominion over you for you are not under the law, but under grace. And so I want to focus on these verses of scripture because we have to remember who we are. There was a time that we were all slaves and servants to sin. We let our flesh, the lust of the flesh take over and we did whatever it was that our flesh wanted to do. We allowed ourselves to be servants of sin. We served it and the Bible lets us know in verse uh, 16 that it says, Know ye not that to whom you yield yourselves servants to obey, his servants you are to, uh, to whom you obey, whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness. It says, so whatever it is. That you yield yourself to, you are a servant to it. So when we yield ourselves unto sin, we become a servant of sin. But the Bible says, let no, let not sin have dominion over you. Don't let sin have power over you when you've been given power over the devil. You have to remember who you are. You have been called and we have to walk worthy of that calling. And so we've been called to what? To be vessels and instruments of righteousness. So the Bible tells us, don't yield your members. Your members are your body parts. You were purchased with the precious blood of Jesus. Your body doesn't belong to you. The Bible says our body belongs to God and we're to glorify him in it. We were purchased with the precious blood of Jesus. And so we're here for God's purposes and he wants to use us as instruments, as vessels unto righteousness for his kingdom's sake, for the glory of God so that we are a light, so that we're um, able to be that example, to be that witness, to be that ambassador for Christ representing the kingdom of God. And so we have to remember that we are no longer serving sin. We're not servants and slaves of sinful behavior. We don't yield our members to unrighteousness righteousness. We don't allow our bodies, whether it's our eyes, our ears, our mouth, our hands, our feet, any part of our body, any of our gifts, talents, opportunities, abilities, nothing that is a part of us. None of our members are to be yielded unto, as instruments unto unrighteousness. Anything that is unrighteous is those things that are contrary to God's word. That's unrighteous living. When we are acting contrary to God's word, acting contrary to his will, when we disobey him walk in rebellion. Anything that he says don't do, we don't do. Whatever he tells us we are supposed to do, that's what we do. Who he says we are, that's the way we walk. And so we begin to allow ourselves to be used as vessels and instruments of righteousness. So the Bible says, neither yield your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin, but yield yourselves unto God as those that are alive from the dead and your members as instruments of righteousness unto God. It says, yield yourselves unto God and your members as instruments of righteousness unto God. And so now when it tells us in verse 12 not to let sin reign in our mortal bodies. To reign means to rule, to be Lord, to be master. You don't let sin rule in your life and control you and take over in you. You don't let a drink or a drug or a sinful act or desire or lust control you and overtake you because you've been given power. Sin no longer has dominion over the children of God because we have the power of God because we have the Holy Spirit of God on the inside of us. We've been empowered and enabled and because Jesus died for us, we live for him. And so he came and he died in our place and paid the price for our sins. And so now we live unto him. Our bodies were purchased with the precious blood of Jesus. Your body belongs to God. You're to glorify him and so the Bible says, yield yourselves unto God and your members as instruments of righteousness unto God. Yield, humble yourself under his mighty hand. Give yourself over to him totally and completely and wholeheartedly as a puppet in his hands. You have to remember that you are the clay and he's the potter. We have to remember we're on the potter's wheel. He's making us into what he wants us to be, conforming us into the image of his son. He wants to use us for his kingdom purposes. We are vessels and instruments. The Holy Spirit lives in us to speak to us and through us, to use us, to 
to enable us, to empower us. The word of God dwells in us richly so we can speak the word and live the word and, and be empowered and enabled by the word because it's renewing our mind and transforming our life. So sin has no dominion over you, but you have to remember that you have to yield yourself unto God. Give yourself over to him completely and your members, all of your, all of your abilities and all of your limbs and your, and your senses and everything that you are, you yield that unto God as an instrument of righteousness. So we have to remember who we are and whose we are. The scripture affirmation today is that I am yielding myself unto God and my members as instruments of righteousness unto God. I'm yielding myself unto God and my members as instruments of righteousness unto God. That means my acts are acts of righteousness, things that are lined up with God's word. Everything that we that I say today is going to line up with his word. The encounters that I have, the conversations, the thinking, the decisions that I make, the places that I go are going to line up with his word. It's going to bring glory to his name. The people that I minister to, the things that I do, everything is based off of me being an instrument of, unto, unto God. It's an instrument of righteousness unto God. That means that everything that I do it's with God in mind. I am mindful of his presence, that he's with me, that he's watching me, that I'm here for him, for his glory, for his good pleasure. And so everything that we do today, we have to remind ourselves that I'm yielding myself unto God. My members are instruments of righteousness unto God. And so before we can grab a drink or a drug or cuss somebody out or tell somebody off or be mad or be angry or try to get revenge or, or cheat or steal or do anything that's ungodly, unholy, and unrighteous, we have to remember that we are no longer slaves to sin, that sin no longer has dominion over us, but we yield ourselves unto God. Our members are instruments of righteousness unto God. Who are you? You are an instrument of righteousness unto God. Yield yourself unto God. So remember the scripture affirmation for today. You begin to confess that you are yielding yourself unto God. Your members are instruments of righteousness unto God. So I'm confessing it with you today that I am yielding myself unto God. My members are instruments of righteousness unto God. So what am I here for? I'm here for for God's purposes and for his plans. And so I yield myself and my members unto him for righteousness. So you can confess it the way you want. Begin to meditate on verses 12. I'm sorry, verses 13 and 14. Get it in your spirit. Begin to speak it and confess it over your life. And remember your purpose for being here because it's not by happenstance. It's not for mistake. And it's not so we can do what we want to do and what seems right in our own mind. But we're here for God's purposes. So remember, yield yourself unto God, your members as instruments of righteousness unto God. It's all about him today. And surrender and submit yourself to him today. And so remember to join us each and every day from 6 a.m. to 6.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for the prayer line and some word. And also remember that you can subscribe to this channel if you've not already done so that you can, so that you can get updates Monday through Friday for the scripture affirmations that are being uploaded as well as any other messages that I am sharing with you so we can get the word in us and so we can stand on the word of God. And so remember this today. Remember that you are yielding yourself unto God. You're a member, a, an instrument of righteousness unto God. And so remember that word. Share it with somebody else today. Share this video, this word, this, this, this message with somebody today that will benefit and be beneficial unto the kingdom of God. This is all about spiritual growth and maturity and bringing glory to his name. And so I'll see you next time. But just remember today. I'm yielding myself unto God and my members are instruments of righteousness unto God. I'm living for the Lord and doing everything as heartily as unto him. And so have a blessed day in the Lord. See you next time for our next scripture affirmation. God bless you.